what's happening to this right now, so we're just going to have to go with it. Hey, what's up? No, I don't like it at all. I'm like so dizzy. Today, I am so excited. I can't wait. I mentioned a lot of my all-time favorite products in this video, and um, I also share a bunch of hacks, but then also ways to slay summer 2017. Can you believe that we're already halfway through it? Like, oh, I don't want to go back to school. I am so excited about today's video because it is, I feel like could be relevant or helpful to literally almost every girl out there. Even if you're not a beauty guru, some of these things discussed today can help you or in some way be beneficial or interest you. So I really am super excited about this video. I hope it helps out each and every one of you. But I am really, really genuinely super excited. So before we get into this video, I have one important question and that is, have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, please do. And please like and share this video. Help me grow my channel. I absolutely love doing this. And I really do appreciate all of the support and the love that I've been getting from people already so far. Like. This is awesome. I'm dreaming. What? But I can't do this without you, so please help me out. Okay. Best highlight. Mwah. So the first hack that I have for you, I've actually been doing this for quite a while now. I'll just use a plain mascara wand and my vitamin E oil that I got from Target for about four to five bucks. And I will just dip this in there and apply it to my lashes like you would apply mascara. And I try to do this morning and night, but I mean, let's be real, sometimes I'm just too lazy for that. So, if, I mean, if I'm too lazy for the wand part, I'll just put some on my fingertips and then just rub it over my eyes real quick before I go to bed. But I like to do this because I like to make sure it's like really lathered on every strand of eyelashes but I have seen a change in my lashes I feel like they have grown and they're stronger and they look more nourished next up I use apple cider vinegar as a toner this stuff stinks I hate it but I just put some on a cotton ball and then wipe it over my face like you would apply a regular toner but beware if it gets in a zit like I just did it hurts it stings a little bit but this just helps kind of even out your skin and clear up some blemishes and like uneven color. This hack is very helpful for people who really struggle putting on fake lashes. So if you are one of those people that just really really struggle with it, just put some lash glue on like a really thin eyeliner brush like that, line the line like you would put on eyeliner and then stick the lashes on that way. For me, this was a lot harder and I prefer doing it the normal way, but you can give it a try. A trick to get your eyeshadow to be more pigmented on your eyes, all you have to do is spray your brush with setting spray, apply the eyeshadow like you normally would, and it really does make a huge difference in how well that the color shows up. And you can see in just a second how I compare both eyes. The left has setting spray and the right does not. This trick also works amazing with highlighter. So just do the same thing and look at that pop. Oh my goodness. One thing that really bugs me is having eyeshadow fallout on my face. So a trick for this is just to use tape, wrap it around your finger, and then dab underneath wherever you have fallout and it cleans it up really nicely without taking off your makeup or having to start all over again. My secret to keeping healthy hair over the summer, especially with all of the chlorine and the sun damage and all of that, I just do this little mixture. So I melted two tablespoons of coconut oil and then I mix in quite a bit of the vitamin E oil that I showed you earlier that I also apply on my lashes. And then I also put some water in there, shake it all up, and I carry this with me to and from the pool. And I like to spray it in damp hair before I go to bed at night and let it soak in and then either wash it out the next morning or just keep my hair up in a bun and just let that stuff soak in and 
keep my hair silky. Next up, this is probably one of my favorite exfoliating scrubs I have ever had in my life. It smells amazing, but I'm a huge coffee junkie, so wait, what? Anyway, so this scrub feels really great, and it leaves my skin feeling so silky and smooth, like better than a baby's butt, and I'm not kidding. So I just exfoliate this all over my body in the shower, rinse it off, and it does make a huge mess. And then this is one of my favorite shaving creams. It's very moisturizing, and it also has weird directions. Like, it's not like normal shaving cream. It wants your skin to be really hot, like it says, as hot as you can stand. And then just lather this on in a hot, steamy shower, but it didn't lather on like it's supposed to because it wasn't hot and steamy in there since I'm recording this for you. And then just shave that off. But a hack, if you run out of shaving cream, just use coconut oil and you will see how shiny it makes your legs. If you have dry cracked skin, honey, this is what you need. Also shaving with coconut oil on your bikini line area helps reduce bumps and it helps keep it really smooth for longer. A trick to having really nice smelling hair all day long, just spray your brush with your favorite perfume, brush it through your hair and you're welcome. These are two of my favorite self tanners. I absolutely love them and I recommend them to everybody. I never get orange um, and I've been using them for a really, really long time. And then this is the mitt that I like to apply my self tanner with. I think it applies great and applies even and does not leave any streaks at all. And also applying a tanning oil like this I think makes you look thin and sleek. So I always bring that to the pool with me. Another thing that I love to have in my bag is the peppermint oil just because it's cooling and it's great for summer and I just like it. A summer must have. I use this when I know I'm going to be in the water all day so I spritz it before and after water. And then this is my favorite sunscreen. I apply this to my face because it doesn't clog my pores and I just love it. it. Smells like bananas. So I don't like to have any facial hair on my face so I use these strips to wax my upper lip. And I'm telling you, this is extremely painful and my face is not an exaggeration. Like it brings tears to your eyes. It's just, ouch. Like, like really bad. I am literally laughing at myself about how goofy I look, but it hurts like unless you do this or have done this like it's really painful but that's what it ripped out all those little baby hairs this is something that I really like to do I just boil two green tea bags and then I take the bags out put them in a little bowl in the fridge for about 15 minutes till they cool off and then place them over my eyes. I just do this when I have dark circles or puffy eyes. And then you can also place this on your bikini line and it helps reduce the bumps and the redness. I showed these two products in my Get Ready With Me video. And by the way, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. But ever since I've been using these two products night and day, I have seen a huge difference in the way that my skin looks and I feel like it glows. And I don't know, I just think it looks a lot better than it used to. That wraps up today's video. Thanks so much for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, give this a thumbs up, and share with your friends. I love you bunches, and I will see you soon. Bye. One thing I will say is if you're wearing like a strapless shirt or you got those color bones and some cleavage popping, throw some highlighter on that. When the light catches it, it's like, ooh.